What's up everybody, Matt here with Kraken Packs MTG today with another Double Masters VIP battle. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the channel, leave me a comment, that gets you in on the giveaways. We're quickly approaching 8,000 subscribers. When we get there, we're gonna be giving away a full box of something. Um, if we get there during Time Spiral, I'll chuck out a box of Time Spiral. If we get there uh, by Strict Saving, it'll be Strict Saving. So uh, let's just get there, it's exciting. Uh, if you haven't picked up your Time Spiral yet, let me mention we have an affiliate link in the description for Magnolia Gaming. Go there and they pretty much have the, they're on par or better prices than anybody. And they're a, uh, they're just a good group of guys down there. Go say hi to Spencer for me. Tell them I sent you. Also, if you shop Amazon, there's some Amazon links. But please, please support your LGS first, unless you have no other option. So let's get going. The way this works is each participant, there's six participants, gets four packs. We add up the total, converted mana cost wise. Whoever has the highest converted mana cost goes home with a VIP pack. Whoever has the lowest converted mana cost goes home with the box topper. So, and hopefully everybody in between will get like, rip like one really nice mythic. That way everybody gets to go home with a little bit of something. We don't want anybody to go home completely empty handed though it does happen sometimes and I usually try to try to help the people out when that happens I've already pre-randomized the starting positions so we have Michael we have Anthony we have Phil we have Robert we have old Greg in our waters of the day and then we have Paul in the caboose let me get something to write down the totals as we go that's my label printer you hear there all right, and let's get it. And tomorrow, I will be live from Magnolia Gaming. We are going to attempt to open 100 sponsored packs, or I'm sorry, 100 sponsored boxes, which would be 3,600 packs um, in a 24-hour nonstop stream. So make sure you guys turn in for that. We'll uh, we'll make a post about it with a, with a little better directions. Um, but uh, yeah, just keep an eye out for that tomorrow night. And let's go. Michael, you are up all the way from the UK. We're hoping for the force of will. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Lots of other choice mythics in here. A couple moxes. Darkstone Colossus. Doubling season. All the swords, it feels like. Let's see what else we got here. All right, we're going to start it off with a meddling mage. Counts for two. And a brutal clad. That's not too bad. A couple foils there. Now, if the foil is rare or mythic, we do count it. So, Michael's first pack will be a total of six, seven, eight. Starting off with eight. And as you guys probably are well aware, my math is not great when doing this. So, all officials, all, all, all results are unofficial till, till verified. We don't want any accidents. Pack two here, crop rotation. Adaptive automaton. Tempered steel. Let's see if we get anything in the foil slot. Just a couple commons. So that's six more to Michael's total. And the good thing about double masters, all it takes is one really big pack, and it can put you over the top. It can it can snatch a victory away from defeat. Very easily. Just think if you opened a pack that had a Blasphemous Act and a, and a Colossus in it. Time Seed. There we go. And a Basilisk Collar. Trash for Treasure. Eager Construct. Wolfie Token. So that's only three more. Michael may be playing for that low spot, which is not a bad spot. Those toppers are. They are pretty nice at times. Anthony, you were up, my friend. We've been doing a lot of these lately. This battle format seems to be pretty popular. We'll be doing this with Time Spiral. I just got a new shipment of Eternal Masters in. So hopefully uh, hopefully we'll get some of those up pretty shortly as well. And some more Commander Legends. I said I wasn't going to do any more of that, but it's uh, the popularity of that set has proved me otherwise. So first rare for Anthony is a Well of Ideas with a Voice of Resurgence. 
Oh man, that said, I saw the dark steel and I said, whoa, and I, I got a little excited. But we just a couple commons there. Let's add up Anthony's total. That's going to be an eight to start things. That's the same way Michael started off. No mythics yet. So where are the mythics hiding? Hopefully this will be one of those epic seven, eight, nine mythic boxes. We've had a couple of those. Especially if there's a foil mythic included. Let's see what we're going to get here. Mana Reflection. That's a nice hit. Six mana plus some value and a Baleful Strix. We'll probably see him again or a, a few Strix and Strix Haven, I would think. Foil Expedition map and an Enlarge. It's nice being able to get that Expedition map. For a while, that was a very expensive, uh, uncommon. I think it's the original printing with the Zendikar. So it definitely, definitely needed a reprint. Golem Skin Gauntlets. Crib Swap. Sphinx of the Guild Pact. We got to land a Rugged Prairie. And a Slumbering Isle. So Anthony started off pretty strong. That last pack was the land hurt a little bit, but I think he's still in the lead. All right, Phil, you are up, sir. And everybody still has that last pack, so absolutely anything can happen. Accomplished Automaton. Iron Bully. Painsmith, Banshee, Mesmeric Orb to start things off, and a Reese the Redeemed. That is a very, very low mana pack. Just three there. I guess it's better than two lands. And Reese the Redeemed. That's a nice little uh, if you're an EDH player. I think he gets used quite a bit. This this box needs to uh, needs to pick it up. Where where is all the beef at? I think this pack's going to be a good one. I got a good feeling. Good pack, good pack, good pack. Ravenous Trap for four. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was going to be a good pack. Jace the Mind Sculptor. There we go. I just, I had a feeling about this one. I could feel it in my bones that this was going to be a good pack. And it was. So let's do a little sleeve sculpting here. Get him put away, and it's an eight mana pack. Congratulations, Phil, on your Jace. I could just, I could sense it. I knew that that pack was talking to me. Sometimes, sometimes I get, I get weird intuitions like that. Vishkal, this is a beefy boy. Anna Tuk Tuk the Explorer. No foil rare yet, or mythics. Only one normal mythic. So this box, it should the second half of it should be pretty loaded. That is a 10 mana third pack. Robert D is up. We have a couple of Robert D's, so I had to put another little uh, distinguishing mark there. That, that way I'd know for sure which Robert it was when we got ready to ship these out. So come on, Robert. Plenty of mythics left. Maybe you'll get one. Mm, sunken ruins. Slow start, but we like the ruins. Into a forge master. Okay. Anything in the foil spot? Yes, there we go. Goto Bandit Warlord. If you like equipment, Goto's your man. So that pack went from hum ho to really beefy, really fast. That's an eleven. I almost dropped the pack, but I saved it. Cat-like reflexes. Played third base in Little League, Little League all my life, so. Got those fast hands. Mining Greaves. Woo, -hoo, Mama Avison, Angel of Hope. Robert, is there gonna be something good behind it? Oblivion Stone, not too shabby. And no more rares, but that Avison is a big, beefy, thick girl. Thick with two Cs. Eight mana plus three. That's another 11 mana pack. 
Robert's going to take this home. He's trying his best anyways. Pack number three. I think he's already tied for the lead or in the lead after two packs. So right now, he's just trying to extend his lead. Oh my goodness, an ensnaring bridge too. Come on. Come on. Oh my, what, what is this pack? An Archangel of, <laughs> or Archangel of Thune? Archangel, there's been some, uh, there's been a little bit of discussion how to pronounce this. Is it Arch or Archangel? We'll go with either one. We're all inclusive here. And an ensnaring bridge, that is a banging pack. Holy smokes. That is crazy. And that is eight more. Oh my goodness. That's why we love Double Masters so much. Because stuff like that happens all the time. I'm actually going to have to find some more sleeves. Please bear with me while we postpone the video. Or make it a little bit longer while we sleeve up the hits. Because they are coming one right after another. This is crazy packs. There we go. Thank you for your patience. All right, old Greg. Let's do it, man. Starting off with a, uh, a Bob pack. And I still think we're only, what, four Mythics deep? So there's still Mythics left out there. So anything could happen. Typically, there's two foil rares in these boxes. So could be another one of those. And we're going to start off with the Open the Vaults. Good card for these purposes. And a rusty, big, beefy Bosch. That's a pack. 14 mana. Greg's coming out swinging. Like I said last time, this is one of the few times you're actually excited to see a Bosch Iron Golem because he's, he's so big. And a foil brainstorm. One of my favorite cards of all time. Old Greg's trying to give Robert a run for his money here. Bone Picker. Fall Doom and Rage. That was a uh, uncommon. It was an expensive uncommon out of Cold Snap for a while until we saw the reprint. Mystic Gate. Mystic Gate with a little Kithkin guy right there. He's he's wondering about second breakfast right now. And a Geist of St. Traft. Okay. A little bit of Mythic action. Not the greatest one. Nothing in the foil slot to count. Put three more over here for old Greg and rip another pack. Strix. Crusader. Mishra's Bobble. Do we have a Metamorphose behind it? It's almost like I knew. Galvanic Blast. Death Shadow. This guy uh, saw a lot of play for a long time. And a Toxic Deluge. Very nice pack. So it's only four mana, but we did get the deluge. Nothing in the foily slot. We're going to move on to last but not least, Mr. Paul. Good luck to you, sir. There are still, there's still a mythic or two out there uh, lurking around. Possibly another foil rare mythic. Lots of good rare hits. We haven't seen the Cyclonic Rift yet. So anything is possible. Lots of packs left. And we're gonna go into a Phyrexian Revoker. Guy looks like a creepy, like a creepy cockroach or something. And a greater good. We love greater good here. Really good card. And a foil divest. I think that's out of Dominaria. So let's write down a six for Phil. Move on to his next pack. Hope for bigger things. Supernatural. Mirror Battle Rage. Costly Plunder. Thinks it's originally out of Ixalan. Parasitic Strix. Fatal Push. The infamous, car, infamous card. Infam let, me, let me try this one more time. Infamous card out of Aether Revolt. High Market. High Market. And a Scourge Dag High Priest. That pack makes me a little bit sad. But. Phil may, or this is Paul. This is Paul. Paul may be going for that uh, that low spot there. So let's let's see what see what develops with this one. 
After this pack, I'll do a recap of everybody's totals thus far. Or what I have written down, anyways. They may not be 100% accurate, but they're close. Whoa! There we go. I thought for a minute Paul was going to get hosed. And then we rip a Chrome Mox, which helps keep him in the low spot. And a Hannah ships now. I've got beautiful Hannah. Definitely helps keep him in the low spot, plus gives him some value. So I'm really happy that Paul got that Chrome Mox in his next to last pack. Let's sleeve it up. Keep it safe. While I fumble and bumble around and drop things, that way we don't damage it. All right, our totals thus far is we have Michael at 17. We have Anthony at 20. We have Phil at 21. Robert with a stack of Mythics and a 30 mana total so far in the lead. Old Greg's at 21, and Paul is at 11. So like I said, anything can happen. Michael is up. Last pack. Needs a lot of help, but it's not out of the question. Expedition map. Fortify. Treasure Mage. Thirst for Knowledge. Flicker Wisp. What do we got? What do we got? Fulminator Mage. There's a Fulminator Mage in every box. We love Fulminator Mage. And a Wrath of God. Beautiful artwork. Iconic card. Nothing in the foil slot. So we're going to put seven more to Michael's total. It's not going to be enough to put him in the lead. But that low spot is still up for grabs. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Anthony, what you got, man? What's in this pack? Will it be enough to take the lead from Robert? Buried Ruin. Salvagers. I think that used to be a rare. Twilight Mire and... Oh! Big Daddy Karn, another mythic. Holy smokes. This box has been loaded with them, it feels like. That's incredible. Well, Anthony, I don't think it's enough because you got the land to put you in the lead, but at least you walk home with a Karn. Nobody can be upset about the big silver boy. So we will take it. All right, Phil, you have the potential. You have the potential. You need a nine to tie, a 10 to go ahead. Can we get there? It's not out of the question, especially if we get a, uh, uh, I'm gonna start off with a flooded grove. Love these cards, but they're not helpful in this case. And a Kimba Ka Regent for three. Nothing in the foil slot. Phil, it wasn't enough. All right, Robert, it's yours to lose now. If you get another Mythic, I'm going to call shenanigans. But you are way ahead. Only have one person within striking distance. So we'll see what happens with this pack. We're going to get a Wound Reflection, which is big and beefy. Six mana. And a Phyrexian Metamorph. So that's a total of ten. And there could be another foil, mythic, or rare here. There's not. But, Robert, that puts you at a total of forty. Oh, my goodness. Wow. All right, old Greg. It's not looking good for you, man. It's not looking good. Robert's way out in front. So let's keep our fingers crossed. How about a foil force of will right here, baby? Come on. Going a little too fast. Got a blood moon. That's some value. What's behind the blood moon? Champion of Lamb Holt. So that's six more. A foil Mishra's Bobble is nice. A foil Twilight Mire. Okay, not not a foil force of will, but it is a pretty nice foil. All right, now it looks like all that is up 
for grab. Let me check the total on that again. I forgot already. Okay. Is the low spot. Right now, Paul's sitting sitting pretty well. Um, unless he gets an absolute monster of a pack right here. I think he's got it. Clone Shell, Rush of Knowledge, Vexing Shisher for two, and a Glimmer Void for null. Anything foil, nothing there. So that definitely puts Paul in the low spot. So the final totals unofficially, we have Michael with a 24, we have Anthony with a 27, Phil with a 26, Robert with a big 40, Old Greg with a 26, and then Paul with a 13. So that means, Paul, you win the Double Masters box topper. So let's open this and see how we do. We're, we're going to pull them out one at a time here. We're going to flip it. Okay. Urza's Power Plant. That's an okay hit. That's an okay hit. And Expedition Map. Wow. Okay. That could have been better. That could have been. That's almost a... Uh, goblin guide expedition map situation except they replaced the goblin guide with the power plant but all in all it's still it's still two very playable box toppers so we will take it now we have to open the spicy boy right here the double masters vip pack this is for robert we had clear-cut winners this time i don't think any of the anything else was close enough for there to be any recounts i'll recount them anyways after the video but i'm pretty sure this one's decided pretty lopsided victory on both sides so let's rip through these commons and uncommons vampire hex mage rampager trying not to spoil what we've got coming here so we'll, Liege of the Tangle is our first foil rare. Into a Phyrexian Metamorph. It's a rare. It is a Phyrexian Metamorph again. Okay. And a Urza's Tower. This was the Urza Tower battle. Or the Urza Land battle anyways. Alright guys, thank you for joining me. Please, if you're not subscribed yet, do so. Like the video, leave me a comment. Uh, tomorrow we'll be live at Magnolia Gaming. Ripping as many times spiral packs as humanly possible in a 24-hour period. We'll catch you guys in the next one.